What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Discord.js video. In this video, I want to share with you how you can start creating custom cooldowns for your commands. It's going to be a pretty short video. You don't need to know a bunch or a lot of coding for this. It's going to be very simple. And yeah, if you're new to this channel, this is a channel where I take suggestions from the comments below and I make cool Discord bots along with you guys. And you guys can watch me code and learn something about making Discord bots. So if you have a suggestion for an upcoming video, make sure you leave it down in the comments section below. And I will try to either implement it into like I have a huge notepad with a bunch of video ideas. So I take some of that from the comments and then add it to the notepad. And then I go down the list. So today we're going to be doing cooldowns. How to have a cooldown on the command. So let's say someone does a command and he tries doing it again right after. You might have like a 30 second cooldown before he can do that command again. Very simple video. Uh, before you get started, I do suggest checking out my channel. I have two basic videos. I have the most basic how to set up a Discord bot. And then I also have how to set up commands and how to do commands. So ma make sure you check those videos out before you get started with this one. So to get started making, making a kind of a cooldown, what we have to do is we have to create a set, an empty set. And I've already created an empty set right here. All you have to do is create a variable. We can do a const or a variable or a var or whatever or let. And you're going to call this something something that, I don't know, something that represents being on cooldown. So for example, I created one called a const use command recently. And it's going to be equal to a new set. What this is going to do, it's going to create kind of like a set. And we're going to store all of the players who just recently used the command in this set. Uh, so name it something like just use a command or on cooldown, whatever. Uh, so make sure you do const, name it, and then equals new set right here. Make sure you add this. You can add this all the way on top of uh, this, you know, your all your little variables here, such as the version and the prefix. So we're going to move down into the message section. And we have a switch. Again, if you want to check all this out, make sure you check out the commands video. So we're going to do a command called cooldown. And the first thing we want to do is we want to check if the user or the author is already in the set. So if, for example, if I'm messaging, I'm doing the cooldown command, uh, I want to make sure that if I'm already in the set, that I'm not allowed to do it again. So to do this, we're going to do an if. So if the, I'm going to come up here, I'm going to copy this. So if use command uh, recently or whatever you named up here, that has, and we're going to do not has, ha, not had, has message that author that ID um, and what we're going to do here is just going to open it up and then this is going to be the message you're going to send to the user if they are in a cooldown. So for example, for this example, we're going to do a 30 second cooldown. So we're going to do message that channel that send uh, actually we're going to reply. We should probably reply to the user. So message that reply and we're going to say you are okay. You cannot use that command just I can't type right now yet wait another 30 30 seconds sorry guys i got a new keyboard and i gotta get used to typing on this keyboard because my other one broke and then we're gonna do an else and here is gonna be all of the special you know things the special things the special effects that the command is going to do so right now we have is we're checking if the player if the author id is inside this set um, then send this message message saying hey you're in cooldown all right so we're gonna do an else and this is gonna be a basic command so i'm just gonna do a message this is where you will type your whole entire command um so here you can have whatever your command does you have it here on the else so message that reply and for this we're just gonna reply something saying you are not on cooldown uh this is a this is this is a custom command it's very hard to type on this new keyboard um and then what we're gonna do is after you typed all of the functionality of that you know whatever custom command you're doing you're going to do something called, well, first you're going to use that same name. So use command recently. That's the set we created up there. We're going to do that add and we're going to add message that author that ID. So what we're doing here is if the, if the author is already on the set, we want to send this message. If he's not send this message and do whatever down here and then add the author to, um, to the set. 
And then what we're going to do after this is we're going to do a function called set timeout right here. And we're going to do an arrow function for this. So I uh, have the two brackets. We're going to open it with an arrow function and we're going to open it like that. And then we're actually going to do a comma after this bracket right here. So space, like a comma and space. And then this is what we're going to do at the time that's going to be for the cooldown. This is by kind of like ticks. So for example, 60,000, this is a whole minute. Uh, I think this might be like milliseconds or something. So for example, I want to do 30, uh, 30 seconds. We'll do 30,000. And that should be 30 seconds right there for the cooldown. Uh, make sure you, I don't know, if you want to check a specific times, make sure to go on like Google or whatever type um, uh, what time this is, what's like, what's four minutes. Um, I forgot what this is called. I'm guessing like milliseconds or ticks. Say something like ticks and you can probably figure it out from there. But I know this is 30 seconds and if you do 60, uh, that's a whole minute. So... 30,000 is 30 seconds and then right here we're going to do is we're going to paste this again because I don't want to type this again this is our set and we're going to do delete message dot author dot id and this should complete pretty much all we need to know about this cooldown let me go over exactly what we're doing up here we are creating a set and we called it use command recently it's going to store all of the members that just recently used the command and then down here, we're checking if whoever sent the message, so the author of the message, if he's already in the set, make sure you sent this saying, hey, you cannot use this command, wait another 30 seconds. If he's not, if he just, it's the first time he uses this command, we're gonna send, we're gonna reply this message and we can do other functionality down here. You have all this space to mess around with your command. And then after all the functionality of the command happens, we want to add that author into the set and then we have a set timeout function that deletes the author after 30 seconds. So after 30 seconds, he will skip this and he'll go back into the functionality of the command. If he's still in the use command recently set, it'll reply this message. Let's go ahead and test this out and hopefully we get uh, no errors doing this. So we're going to open up our terminal here. Again, if you don't know how to do this, make sure you check out my channel. We're going to do node space dot. Um, and we did get an error and we got it by CL. CL is not defined. Where did we mess up with the CL? I probably typed something. Uh, CL. Right here. See, I just typed some random stuff. We can't do that. Um, and then let's try that again. I'm not sure why that was typed there. No space dot. This bot is online. Let's go check our Discord server right here. Our bot is online. And now if we do cooldown, which does our command. It should say, you are not in cooldown, this is a custom command, and this is where you have all your, your little gibberish, whatever your command does. And if I try doing this again, it's going to say, you cannot use this command, yes, yet, wait another 30 seconds. So again, I have to, if I keep trying to do this, it's going to say, hey, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do this, all the way until the 30 seconds are over, and then you can use that command. So I'm going to wait until the 30 seconds are over. I don't have a timer, but I'm going to guess between when it's going to be over. And I'm just going to talk to you guys. So... I know I've been gone for a while. It's been like a month or so since I haven't done a video. And I know I was going to upload daily videos. But I got very busy. It was finals week. Um, and it was very tough. I'm also starting summer classes soon. So that's going to be complicated. But I'm going to try putting more of these videos out there. Because I really like coding. And I really like doing this kind of videos. Uh, so yeah. Hopefully we have enough time. Uh, there you go. You're not on cooldown. This is a custom command. So again, if I try doing this again. I'm already in a cooldown because I just used the command. Boom, you cannot use this just yet. Wait another 30 seconds. And you can mess around with this. You can make, like, you know, customize this. If you're, like, a professional programmer or you know how to program, you can make this, like, seconds be actual seconds. Uh, like, uh, for example, if you only have 10 seconds left, you can make this say 10 seconds. But that's a little bit more complicated for this video. That's pretty much all. That's all you need to do to add a custom cooldown to your command. Very easy. All you need is this code right here. Um, and again, if you want to have more functionality, like send another message or send an embed or whatever, you add it right here on the else uh, after you know this right here. Before you do the, before you add the member into the set, you can do all your functionality here, and that should be it. That should complete everything you need to know about cooldowns. There might be one or two things that are a little bit more advanced for this video, but I'm leaving it out for a reason. With that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Comment below any suggestions for upcoming Discord.js videos. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys later on my next video. Peace.